The Mystery of the Reptilians, Hidden Theories and Experiments on Humans On a planet orbiting in the cosmic vastness, where the limits of human knowledge meet the mystery of the unknown, lies a subject that has sparked both curiosity and fear the existence of reptiloids. These beings, appearing as if from the pages of dark fairy tales or from the depths of ancient mythologies, are now the subject of startling revelations that weave a complicated web between reality and fiction. In a secret laboratory, hidden from the eyes of the world, the reptilians carry out their enigmatic activities. This laboratory, which is rumored to exist somewhere in the depths of the earth, has become an epicenter of experiments that defy the limits of human ethics and knowledge. Here, under the watchful eye of these creatures, human experiments are conducted, testing the limits of biology and genetics. Our story begins in a world still struggling to understand and accept the possibility of such a reality. We will travel through history, exploring the origin of reptilian myths and how these creatures have been perceived throughout time, from Chinese civilization to Native American tribes. We will discover how, in 1982, Paleontologist Dale Russell opened a new window to the understanding of this phenomenon, suggesting a close connection between dinosaurs and these mysterious creatures. As we unravel the mysteries of this story, we will enter a world where the boundaries between real and imagined become increasingly blurred. We will explore theories that claim that reptilians are not just figments of our imaginations, but real beings that have influenced human history in ways we are only now beginning to understand. Along our journey, we'll uncover disturbing evidence of reptilian experimentation from unexplained incidents, mysterious disappearances, and eyewitness accounts of surviving encounters with these beings. We will also look at the controversy over the Dulce base in New Mexico, USA, a place believed to host such an underground laboratory and its connection to the UFO phenomenon. Finally, we'll explore the various theories surrounding these enigmatic beings from those that claim they're here to help to those that warn us of their dark intentions. We will delve into the world of snakes and try to understand their role in our history and our future. This journey will take us through the maze of reality and fiction in an attempt to better understand this hidden and mysterious world of reptiloids. It's a journey that promises no easy answers, but one that will open our eyes to possibilities that until now we considered only figments of the imagination. So, get ready to explore the secret and amazing world of reptiloids. The reptiloid laboratory exists and experiments are done on humans. According to some American researchers, reptilians or reptiloids appear in legends and are eternal because they feed on human blood, but worse they have a secret laboratory where they experiment on people. Chinese culture, for example, focuses on the dragon, which is considered a reptile. Indians, but also Europeans, have many legends about dragons or snakes that have supernatural powers. They are sent by God to Earth. In 1982, the paleontologist Dale Russell advanced a theory following the discovery of some dinosaur skulls, according to which the space of the planet would have allowed the development of dinosaurs, which were the dominant species and not the human one as we learned all of us. In 1967, the first theories about the Anunnaki reptilians appeared. Reptilians change their shape, they are a hybrid between man and reptile and they come from Babylon. Furthermore, the theory claims that reptilians are eternal because they feed on human blood, which gives them the strength and energy to be eternal. They rule the world and everything that happens to us is ordered by them. After a great cosmic catastrophe, they retreated to Earth, living in underground caverns. There are many testimonies, many made public, regarding the Dulce base in the state of New Mexico, USA, which claim that there are reptilians in the underground of this base. Moreover, above this military base, many UFOs were seen. It is believed that the tunnels under the Dulce base extend over a large area of the USA. The belief that there is an underground world is not new. The tribes of South America have this belief that comes from the distant past. The Apache tribes of Mexico considered that the Abenaki Indians are descendants of creatures that live underground. The American authorities are suspected of maintaining in this base experiments that reptilians do. Reptilians are very advanced from a genetic point of view and help the American specialists in understanding some complex phenomena. 
In this base, experiments on telepathy, hypnosis, and subliminal control are carried out. Genetic tests are done on mice, birds, and seals. The reptilians also interbred humans, the results being frightening. Creatures with two heads, three legs, four hands. In 1978, in a cow farm located a few miles away from the Dulce base, it was found that more than a hundred cows were mutilated and abandoned in the field. The specialists who came to the scene to investigate the case found that the animal's skin was shining. It was found that they had been irradiated to be studied. The amount of magnesium and potassium in the animal's bodies was 70 times higher than the normal level. Shortly after, several dozens of cattle disappeared on the same farm, together with the person who cared for them. There are people who claim that inside the base experiments are carried out on live animals, but also on people. Various people claim that they were kidnapped, taken inside the base, where they underwent various operations under hypnosis. Krista Tilton claims that in July 1987, she was kidnapped for three hours and taken to this base. She managed to remember that her eggs were taken. Subject to a checkup, the doctors found that her eggs had been taken. She told about the terrifying experiments the reptilians are doing in the labs inside the base. The American military authorities denied the existence of a military base in the area. Recently, a Russian satellite photographed the Dulce base. The Russians claim that the base extends underground over an extremely large area. The pictures were given to the public. The Americans preferred to remain silent. Do they live among U.S.? What do aliens look like? Some of them are said to have positioned themselves in all the points of power and are in control. And under the human aspect, their true nature would be found, their only goal being to proclaim themselves the masters of the earth. According to the negative scenarios regarding contact with aliens, a dangerous encounter means that they could end up eating us, attacking us, or turning us into slaves. In addition, they could transmit certain diseases to mankind. Another scenario shows that advanced civilizations could get rid of unfriendly artificial intelligence. Scientists have also launched the hypothesis that extraterrestrials could do certain experiments that would make life on Earth impossible. World of Snakes One species of aliens, which is lately the main subject of many conspiracy theories, is reptilians. These being defined as skilled and cruel. Some of those concerned with the field are of the opinion that reptilians see in us their biological property, perceiving inferior humans. And the greys, classified as cold, cruel, and passionate about experiments on humans, came in second place as a dangerous race after the reptilians, who can change their shape, simulating the human appearance. Nagas are also reptilian beings, according to Hindu legends, which associate them with the world of serpents, a cavernous system with several levels under the southwestern Himalayan coasts, the place of the Naga. The Anunnaki are also described as dangerous. They are said to come from a controversial planet in the solar system, Nibiru. In Sumerian myths, this astral body would be the home of this human-like extraterrestrial species called the Anunnaki. Some of the theories circulate the fact that the Bible would have some hidden references regarding this species. Who would have arrived on Earth 450,000 years ago in search of minerals, especially gold, which they found and exploited in Africa? The Anunnaki are believed to have genetically created Homo sapiens, specifically to be their slaves, by mixing their own genes with those of Homo erectus. Ancient inscriptions indicate that the Sumerian human civilization in Mesopotamia was forged under the careful guidance of these gods, the notion of kingship being imposed precisely as a mediation between the human species and the Anunnaki. In order for humans to survive the evil aliens, researchers believe that we should be careful about the messages we transmit in space, not divulge information that could lead to the manufacture of weapons against humans, and in an extreme scenario, the aliens could destroy humanity to save other civilizations. Fifteen American miners were killed by reptilian creatures. This is what is said in a military document declassified in 2008. In 2008, an intriguing file was declassified by the British Ministry of Defense. Entitled Correspondence on Unidentified Flying Objects, the report contains detailed information regarding ufology. 
In the 318 page document is a long chapter that talks about the possibility of the underground origin of UFOs and the existence of the reptilian species hidden under the Earth's crust. On page 75 of the document, we can read about how 15 miners were killed in a mine in Dixonville, Pennsylvania, USA. I quote from the report. The July 14, 1974 issue of a Pennsylvania newspaper, News Extra, reported an incident that allegedly occurred near a small coal mining town, Dixonville. The story was told by the son of a mine inspector, who learning it from his father. The mining inspector and a colleague had been called to investigate an accident at a mine in Dixonville. About 15 miners were either killed or missing in the disaster. Arriving in the mine, the two came across the first victim. Although he was under a broken beam, surrounded by rock and fallen debris, surely these could not have caused the man's death. The inspectors were shocked to find that the miner's body was torn apart with claw-like marks from an unknown creature. They continued their search and found several more bodies, all dead, some of them bearing claw-like marks. Other miners were reported missing. This tragedy apparently occurred after miners entered an ancient tunnel of unknown origin. This tunnel, which ran at a 45 degree angle for about 800 meters, led to a room that seemed to be the end. The inspectors investigated the tunnel and at one point the passageway behind them collapsed. Many accounts claim that these subterranean creatures can create passages at will. Luckily, another rescue team came to the aid of the trapped inspectors. At one point, an inspector, the father of the man who told everything, suddenly felt something like hot breath on the back of his head. He closed his eyes, too terrified to see what the creature was. The other inspector noticed everything, however, and, horrified, exclaimed, that thing was out of this world. The draconian reptilians feed off our negative energy, while the reptoids want to help us escape their domination. There is an extraterrestrial hypothesis about reptilians that I want to tell you, although I personally do not believe in it. But, that doesn't mean I don't have to introduce her. So, reptilians are said to have evolved on two separate planets, one is Earth, and the other is a planet near the star Draconis, 101 light years away in the constellation Draco. And such a great distance between the two planets, two different races of reptilians have evolved, as I said. The first race, that of the Draconian Reptilians, is evil, warlike, manipulative and deceptive. The second race is that of the Reptoids on Earth. It is a pacifist and good one. Reptoids resulted from the genetic combination of Reptilians with humans. Draconians have evolved physically so that they no longer feed on food, but on negative energy. To survive, they need this evil energy. In order to survive, the Draconian Reptilians created a new race of aliens, called the Grey Aliens, as their slaves, using their energy as a source of nutrition. But, at some point, the Grey Aliens also rebelled, to free themselves from their creators. The Draconians were desperate and needed sources of nourishment. So, in their spaceships, they started looking for other planets where they could find beings, which could be used as energy sources and they came across planet Earth. They observed, apart from the reptoids on our planet, the indigenous population on Earth, which could be used as a source of evil energy. But, for this, the reptoids had to be eliminated from the Earth in order to be able to quietly manipulate the evil minds of people and thus consume their evil energies. After they succeeded in driving most of the reptoids off Earth, the Draconians began to manipulate the humans. But, it seems that not all reptoids have been banished. Some of them are still hiding in the underworld of Earth, secretly acting as freedom fighters for humans and trying to destroy the entire draconian reptilian agenda. Today, the reptilians of the Draco Hemisphere have their eyes fixed on this planet, having emissaries here on Earth who ensure that humans stay on the path of corruption, hatred, and war. The more evil, the more food source. The Draconians are a very advanced extraterrestrial species that in turn created the reptilian species. Draconians are large, massive beings, over 4 meters tall and possessing a pair of bat-like membranous wings. In order to develop the strength necessary to lift off the ground, to fly, extreme musculature and a specific skeleton are needed, which is why they are endowed with three hearts. The tail, necessary for balance during flight, 
is an extremely useful member in interspecies behavior as well. The tail is used for communication, the movements of the tail signaling states of the being. I use my tail like we use our hands. They raise it arched in the air when they want to signal a state that represents attention. They turn their tail high in the air when they want to signal, to indicate a turn, they can exemplify a direction to direct your gaze towards by pointing with the tip of the tail to the left or to the right. So you got it, they use their tails exactly like we use our hands. They also have upper limbs. That is, arms with fingers, but they only have three longer ones and the last fourth finger is small, smaller than our little finger and almost atrophied. So they have three, not four. James Cameron will show an avatar some creatures from Pandora, the so-called Nasics, who have tails. Why will the Hollywood brand show that some creatures have tails? I'm wondering why. The Draconians are very similar to the dragons, not exactly mythological beings that were brought to Earth by them. The Dacians had a dragon as their standard, they have a cult for these dragons, they have the Dragon Festival, the Year of the Dragon, all of Western Europe is full of heraldry from the Middle Ages depicting dragons, finally many things related to dragons. The Thracian Solomons who used to cast spells the dragons from the abyssal lakes in the mountains and then they rode them with a golden halter, just as the beings in Avatar rode the Akrani, some dragons and that. So, the Draconians have horns, a tail, but it doesn't look like the devil in the pictures, the horns are on the back, not straight on the top of the head. I will tell you once more that they are not the devils from the descriptions, they are more like dragons, but dragons are animals, while they are beings endowed with consciousness. It doesn't really fly. They have wings, but they use them occasionally, not needing to fly anymore after tens of thousands of years of evolution having flight technology. But it still flies. When they want, if they want, they can fly. They use the tail as I told you during the flight. 